Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today is July 21st. So remember that uh, next week is the FOMC meeting, right? So the uh, FX world will be pretty fluctuated. So that means a really good chance to speculate. So first of all, uh, welcome to the video. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and like my Facebook page. And then you'll be one of the first ones to uh, the update, most updated videos. So today we'll talk about two things. The so first thing is about the stocks, uh, US banking stocks and insurance stocks. Uh, many of the stocks are kind of uh, underperforming the index, especially we we'll all talk about the technology stocks like Amazon, Google and stuff, uh, which we have talked about it in the past six months and eight months, right? If you have been investing in that in those stocks, the Amazon is over a thousand dollars a game and I'm pretty sure that a thousand dollars or maybe a hundred uh, nine nine hundred and fifty dollars will be pretty much a big strong uh, support for these stocks, okay, and also Google. Um, but what about other stocks? They are really pretty much un underperforming the uh, index, right? But especially well uh Wells Fargo's um Goldman Sachs and especially Yesterday, Home Depot was dropping like crazy. Like um, the candlestick is the, the force is really really big. So it closed at one hundred seventy uh, one hundred and forty seven dollars per share. So what happens? The thing is, U.S. dollar is doing pretty pretty bad. It's really really weak. So um, this is the main reason why the banking stocks and also the insurance stocks are not doing as good as the index, uh, in, the index overall. But the thing it may change in the next uh, in the uh, in next week, okay? So um, technically, it's still pretty bad. So as soon as the year story is going weaker, and it's not yet the chance to buy any uh, banking uh, in, uh, in the banking industry or insurance industry, okay? So thing is technically. Um, I've talked about it Wednesday, so if you can, you can check out the video on Wednesday. So as soon as the uh, US dollar is dropping below, it's still below the uh, ninety-four point five level. This is a really really strong ratio, which has completely defeated the positive wave theory. Okay, so it becomes pretty much negative and pessimistic. Okay, the next ultimate level should be the double bottom, which is the 91.92. Of course, there's another ratio that we seldomly uh, use. It is uh, the level is um, the target will be 93.5 dollars. Okay, this is the two, um, this really is short term. The only chance it can rebound is hitting 93.5. So Meaning that uh, U.S. dollar will still uh, going weaker is my first cho first choice. As soon as it um, until it breaks above the this line, ninety breaks above again ninety four point five, then probably U.S. dollar will go stronger. Then you can buy the U.S. Uh, banking industry because the, when the U.S. dollar is pretty weak and the FOMC meeting is not talking about raising interest rate and the gap between the saving account and borrowing money, uh, lending out money outside is too narrow and the profit will be affected for the banking industry. So that's not a good chance to buy. But uh, the next week is FOMC meeting, right? So if the US dollar is dropping a lot, let's say uh, within seven days, within five, no, I mean within five days or four days, it hit like uh, it dropped a lot, like hitting 93 or 91.9 these levels and the US dollar will have a bigger chance of rebounding, right? Because it's now dropping a lot, but it, it drops even more. And then something happens in, in the FOMC, uh, FOMC meeting. Let's say people speculate saying that, oh, suddenly we think that Janet Yellen will raise the interest rate or for um, uh, 25 basis point or 50 basis point. Or even inside the FOMC meeting, the meeting before that, Janet Yellen says something about strong U.S. Uh, current uh, policy. Then is pretty much uh, will make the U.S. dollar index go up rebound really, really strongly. Okay, so this is the key that we should uh, we should do. And uh, I mean, if you in, want to invest in banking industry and looking for a chance that uh, the Wells Fargo or Goldman Sachs or insurance companies will outperform the index again, yes, the chance will come. 
and but you probably will think of Wells Fargo first because it's a better company, better bank, uh, be, uh, better company than Goldman Sachs and other banking, um, other banks. Okay, so the other one is Home Depot. For sure, that uh, Home Depot is pretty much a safe and because uh, a big company to invest in, and especially because of uh, the stock price dropping for no reason. But there's a reason, but that's not a solid reason for the stock price to drop that much. So whenever it hits this level, I suggest you if you never invest in Home Depot, you can buy a little bit at this level because at the bottom of the uh, yesterday uh, price is one forty five. Is pretty much uh, fulfilling the wave theory that it may rebound and hit this high again, meaning um, the 160 per share will be uh, broken and the historic price will uh, will hit historic price again. So um, if it drops below, you can cut loss or you can leave another cash and buy it here at this level one of 36. But uh, dropping for 30 dollars is pretty much uh, too much. And uh, I'm still I'm still holding Home Depot. I don't worry it too much unless today it's dropping. It will be dropping like ten dollars for one day. Okay. So otherwise, World Fire goes and Home Depot is something that we should uh, invest in for long term. And chance is coming as soon as US dollar is rebounded and hit uh, and breaks above ninety four point five again. Or otherwise, it's going down to test the ninety-three or ninety-two dollars, uh, ninety-three or ninety-two points, and is uh, is another chance to buy these stocks, and it, they may outperform the index again. Not that you should sell your uh, the Amazon and Google. I think it's too pretty. It's still pretty good to hold them for uh, for the rest of the bull market. For Amazon, Google is. Man, they're doing really good. Okay, so um, thousand dollars for sure. It will break above as uh, unless there's something happen uh, even worse in U.S. dollar and the uh, FOMC meeting. Otherwise, it's free. Uh, you, you just hold it. Okay, so um, the other thing is to re recap because the Canadian dollars, Canadian dollars is still going down as mentioned. And the Australian dollar, I said that uh, we can take a chance to uh, do uh, uh, to do to, to try. But um, you see, the Australian dollar is dropping; it's going down quite a bit. So I think that you can uh, you can still hold it. But if there's another candlestick breaking below this level, let's say uh, zero point seven eight three, then probably you should cut loss. Okay. But looking at the U.S. dollar index. Um, I say I would say you can, uh, I can say you can short U.S. dollar, long gold, or buy Australian 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 dollars or Canadian dollars. They're all fine. But uh, it's making a hammer right now. Uh, so it's now um uh, in the uh three a.m. my time. Okay, four a.m. my time. Which means tomorrow morning we should see we should check the um, U.S. dollar again. So if that's the hammer, probably uh, with a good candlestick, meaning a bullish candlestick on Monday, then the US dollar index may see a bottom. Then uh, by then, I hopefully I will make you an other, another video. So right now, just look at the 94.5 level. And also if it go, goes down, look at the uh, 33 and then 91.9 level. Uh, so. With that being said, so uh, let's lock up the levels and uh, just as soon as the US dollar is going uh, weak or going stronger, we have something to do with any anything. Going go go it goes weak or it goes stronger, we have something to do as soon as it uh, it moves. Okay, so that's about it. It's again it's four a.m. in my time, so. I'm kind of dizzy right now, but uh, just a quick quick update before the market opens. All right, so have a good day. Um, let's uh, comment below and like like and like this video and also share it to your friends if you can. I'll uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.